Hello and welcome to Thermal Fun. Today we're going to be looking at how water boils on a stove. So I've got a pot of cold water here on the stove and I've also got a small bowl next to it filled with ice. And we're going to go ahead and turn the burner on. So I've turned the burner up on high now. We'll leave the ice off to the side here. We'll just do some refocusing. So, as you can see here, this is having a burner on high. And what I have here is a little bit of ice and we're just going to toss that into the water here so you can get a little bit of a different effect you actually see the ice cubes in the water here let me go ahead change into rainbow mode Step back just a little bit here. And you can see just how the ice really does stand out in the water here. You can also see that the handle is remaining cool, of course. And you can see that the burner is really heating up. And you can actually see the heat coming up from the flames of the burner. Let me go ahead. This is looking at it in vivid mode. Let's refocus here. You can see the ice is really breaking down quickly in here and melting. Actually, let me move it off a little bit more. You actually see a bit of a pattern here going through. You're actually seeing the water start to get some current in it as the heat builds up and you can see it just how quickly the ice is melting uh, right now if I look at it here with the heat sensor it's picking up about 900 degrees maximum and you can see it swirls off here the last of the ice is going away right now and that's it for the ice so let's And you can actually see, you know, pulling away from some of the heat of everything else going on in here, you can actually see the water moving in its current. Um, you still get a lot of the heat coming off the burner here, but it's actually a pretty cool effect that you're getting where you're just watching the, the, the water start to get convection in it moving up. And you could see a few of those little... Uh, darker spots coming in and that's actually bubbles coming off the bottom as the water begins to get to a boiling point so right now we're now well, we're looking at about 180 degrees on the water temperature here let me switch it over this is looking at it in a rainbow pattern which you can see also gives you a, a, a really different effect onto the water and right now just the side of the pot and the heat coming off of the from the burner we're about 300 degrees and the water itself is looking at about 180 degrees change it into iron here shortly and you can see iron doesn't show up quite as much contrast it seems like when you have lesser color differences or oh, greater temperature differences you're not going to get quite as much contrast let's go into vivid which does seem to show off pretty good and you can actually see we're we're getting a quite to not quite to boiling point in the surface temperature of the water it's at 190 degrees approximately 
and let me switch into grayscale which again it's similar to vivid it it's real sharp contrast between temperature differences so the slight in-betweens don't seem to show up quite as good I actually think vivid is one of the better color scales to look at this and just as an example this is just playing around with the zoom a little bit or not the zoom but the focus on the camera you can see just how uh, nicely it focuses it actually has a pretty decent frame rate for looking at an object so hot so right now the water is approximately 200 degrees Fahrenheit so it's uh, definitely showing off some interesting changes as the water heats up and you can see how it the convection in the water of the heat of the pot is pushing everything towards the center of the pot and it's getting that interesting swirling motion this is looking at it in rainbow mode and now we're on a surface temperature of right around boiling and I'm actually starting to see quite a few bubbles coming off of the pot now and 